Glory be to God. And this is yet another moment and an opportune time. I just want to welcome you to this segment, Ask Pastor Herbert. Please don't forget, anytime, any day, you can post your, uh, your question on our Facebook, Ask Pastor Herbert, and I'll be able to receive it and answer and give you an answer. Uh, this time around, we have a question from Jacob. And this question is, why is God called loving and merciful when in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament stories of the Israelites' conquest, he specifically orders his chosen people to massacre their enemies, showing no mercy to women, men, even children, or animals. Wow, that's a wonderful question. Now, I, I know that God did that, but you have to know that the Old Testament is the New Testament is the New Testament concealed. Now, in the Old Testament, God was speaking things or doing things physically, using the physical, I don't know how I can put it, but using pictures and types. For example, Israel is the church. The world is the enemy. Or the, the kings were the, prince, the, the, the principalities, the rulers, the sons of the enemy. Now, in the New Testament, we conquer. But our, 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 our fight is not with flesh and blood. Our battle is not against flesh and blood. Is against principalities, the kings, the, 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 the authorities, the spiritual wickedness, and so on and so forth. Now, in the Old Testament, it was physical. It was physical to show that the kingdom of God must take over the kingdom of the enemy. But also, at the same time, as I told you, I mean, as I, I, I want to say this, that there is a choice. God will always give choice. There is life and there is death. If you choose life, you will have life. If you choose death, then death will come your way. The same thing that happened in the Old Testament can, can happen right now. We still have many people who die, yet who don't have died, but simply because they have disobeyed and they get their own, I mean, they get their own reward, which is death. The wages of sin is death, but the gift that God gives his eternal life. Amen. Thank you so much for, for uh, Jacob for asking. May God bless you. Until then, this is Pastor Hubbard on this segment. Ask Pastor Hubbard. <laughs>